Here's a transverse wave. Oh, my favorite. Moving along a rope. Two points, X and Y, are a quarter of a wavelength apart from each other. What does that mean? If you find it hard to imagine, just draw. That's why I always tell people, just draw. Draw it out. So you have a wave. Kind of looking nice and happy like this. Oh, man. Out of space. Anyway. X and Y are a quarter of a wavelength apart. So if this whole thing is one wavelength... Let me choose two reference points. Er, there can be many two reference points. I mean, you could say this is one point here and quarter of a wavelength would be here. That's a possible combo. I mean, there are many others. I'll show you later. So let's see. Which is not possible for both points at any instant. They are both stationary. If, I, if you look at this one that I drew here, the green dot up here is stationary. It's not moving. It's gonna. It's gone up. It's gonna start coming down. But they cannot both be stationary. So this is wrong. Maybe this is the answer. I don't know. Let's check. B. They are displaced in opposite directions from their equilibrium position. Now this one that I drew is not exactly displaced in opposite directions from equilibrium. But but I could I could maybe drag them a little bit. So maybe this one come a little bit here. And here, okay, so now they are both above the equilibrium position. Okay, sure, and keep going. This one, one is above equilibrium position. Keep going some more. Oh, now they are in opposite directions from equilibrium. One is above equilibrium, one is below equilibrium. So it is possible. You just have to keep dragging these two points to see... Uh, Different, different reference point on the rope because I don't know where X and Y is. That's why I'm just randomly picking two points to see if this is possible or not. So B is possible. They can be in opposite directions at certain times. C, they are moving in opposite directions. I mean, one way would be having both of them be here if... Oh man, this is hanging. If one particle is here, the other particle is here, quarter of a wavelength apart. If I were to draw the velocity vectors of this one, the first wave, okay, imagine imagine the wave is moving to the right. Okay, what's going to happen to these particles? The particle X, which is the first one, will start to go down. Particle on the right will start to go up because they are riding the waves. They just like ride up and down. So they are moving in opposite directions. Totally possible. It's, yes, it's good. D, they have, Displacements of the same magnitude from equilibrium. There, we just had it. They are both at the same magnitude from equilibrium. So from equilibrium, you draw a line up. From equilibrium, draw a line up. Yeah, it's totally possible to have them at the same displacements. So I guess A is the only one where it's not possible. Both are stationary. However, this is in stationary wave. You may have something like that. Wait, do we have that? Stationary wave is... Wavelength apart. Oh, no, we don't have that too. Never mind. <laughs> so we don't have that if you're a quarter of a wavelength apart. No, not possible. Okay, so that's how you can think of each statement of waves. Go search out some GIFs, see the animation of waves doing their thing, and you can, you know, do some. Oh, you just take a marker pen, draw on your hand, and then you move your hand like this during exam, and then you look at your hand. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's not moving. You get the idea. Okay, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.